Hey guys, Goon here. Today I'm going to show you my Righteous Fire Marauder. He is currently on level 24 and I'm actually leveling him with Righteous Fire. You might ask yourself, why is he using Righteous Fire? Isn't Righteous Fire like a spell? Exactly, but the spell works a little differently. The amount of damage I deal to my enemies, first off the damage is dealt in a radius around you, and the amount of damage you deal is based on the maximum life of your character. You deal 50% of your maximum life per second in a radius around you, and lose 100% of your maximum life per second in return. And this is reduced by fire resistance. And if you have enough fire resistance, then you can counteract this damage. And because of this I based a character around Righteous Fire. And basically I'm going to get all the percentage life regeneration nodes because they also counteract this damage and also elemental resistances and I'm also going to get a higher level purity gem that's why I'm going to level uh, scale a few s intelligence nodes like this one and later on I'm going to scale another one forgot where it was I'll go into more detail if I have him on a higher level but right now, the basic concept is I'm using Righteous Fire and Red Beak Rusted Sword because I'm on low life quite often and if I'm on low life I, incre uh, I deal increased damage, 100% increased damage. And basically I'm running 4 uh, Ruby Flasks because I don't have as much uh, fire resistance yet. My maximum fire resistance is only 80% and I don't have that much uh, increased life regeneration and because of that I need 4 ruby flasks to, co to counteract the righteous fire damage and my life flask is a flask that increases recovery when on low life which I'm probably going to be as you will see in a second here let me demonstrate the the kill speed over here as you see the enemies die instantly And I'm going to increase the radius of the Righteous Fire with increased area of effect as soon as I have a uh, 2 link. But right now, this has to be sufficient. And as you can see, the enemies drop quite fast. They don't even survive a second. Even rares drop like flies. It's actually a joke. But as you can see, it's a suicide character. <laughs> He's losing life quite fast, and if you don't manage your flask well, you might die instantly. And as you can see, I am gaining uh, increased movement speed because I enchanted a few of these uh, ruby flasks with move speed to get from enemy to enemy faster. And yeah, basically, that's the basic concept. I'm going to use Righteous Fire with this character and try to get as many uniques that support this Righteous Fire build. And as soon as I have more information on, on how to play him and which items to get and which passives to skill, I'm going to make another view and explain how I managed to increase the efficiency. But right now this has to be... It's, it's basically like a concept. It's not even finished yet, he's only level 24. But I have to say, it's really fun having to manage your ruby flask like that. But I wouldn't really recommend it for first play through because it's actually quite still. I'm even using a totem with increased life regeneration to increase my life in case my flask is empty. And yeah, I'm actually I'm actually leveling him with Righteous Fire, as you can see. The only problem I have right now is my mana regeneration, because I don't have a I don't have a Clarity game yet. Uh, but the third, that's the first thing I'm going to change. Fix my mana problems.
Actually, that, that was <laughs> quite dangerous over there. As you can see, it's it's not quite fleshed out yet, but the concept is there, and it's probably going to work, work as soon as I have more uniques, like the... What was it called? The Lamellas uh, Shield that increases uh, elemental resistance, uh, maximum resistance by another 5%. And also purity on a high level also increases maximum resistance on, uh, on a percent basis. And also, if you skill buff effect, where is it? Buff effect over here, increased effect of buffs on you. It will probably also increase purities, increased maximum elemental resistances, and probably also the maximum resistance on ruby flask. And because of that, I am currently scaling towards buff, buff effect. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you up up to date with my righteous fire marauder on whether he's working out as intended. I don't quite know yet, but I really hope he, he works out because it's quite fun to play. And yeah, I'm gonna keep you up to date. See you next time.